Here we are once again with the not so evil scientist Bob because he's actually out enjoying a little fishing trip with Wilson. So I tell you what, Bob's pretty excited here today because there's been a new update to People Playground and he's actually uh, hunting a monster. That's not a part of the new update, but it's just something he's excited for. Oh, wait, what was that sound? Oh, could that be the monster he's looking for? And, and oh, it looks like it wants Wilson for a snack. Uh oh wait, never mind. I think he's going for Bob. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Well, uh, not sure Bob was quite ready for that one. <laughs> well, at least you get to see one of the new features, which includes the bleeding underwater. So, can we get an F in the chat? Maybe a couple likes for Bob and maybe his reconstructive surgery because he's definitely gonna need it. He's got a piece of the monster still stuck to him. Hold on, let's let's drag him to shore. This is completely fine. Uh, you know what? It, it, it's fine. He'll just sit here. He's he's good. Actually, he's actually separated now. See, he's only missing his arms. Oh boy, this is gonna be a messy episode. here we are in people playground 1.15 now we did cover a couple things that are a part of this update in our last video because it was in the beta version of it but check this out this is what you guys can look forward to uh, you've got the flask which we actually used uh, the nitroglycerin flask in order to make a explodey human but you've got those are in here there's a new blaster rifle there's a physics gun which I want to play with that. A grenade launcher, the new map, which you're seeing it in the background, the bleeding underwater effects. There's a fog environment option, a simplified background rendering option. I don't really know what that is. And there's just a couple other things. And you kind of have like a change log here. But yes, this is available in the normal version of the game. Now, as you saw from the intro, uh, you got the blood effect there. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Bob's going to be okay. He'll be back for another story episode here soon. But yes, this is the new map. This is called Hybrid. So I'm assuming it's basically all the maps in one. So you've got a flat area up here. You've got a huge drop off, kind of like the sea map, except for it's way more massive. You've got a really, really deep sea, which I don't know where the bottom is. Uh, you've got like a little incline here. Uh, you've got a tall, flat surface up here. And you've got what appears to be a, an underground area. Do you access this from the outside or do you just spawn things down here? This is actually weird. I like this though. So let's go ahead and spawn a person here. Oh, this is a lot bigger than it looks. So yeah, you've got this uh, inside area, but is there a way from the outside to get to the inside? Is this open or is there an opening over here? I don't really see anything, but yeah, this is kind of weird. This is a new map. This is weird seeing other than the modded maps been a while so as far as the new items let me pull them all out okay so these are the new items here we'll also test out the under uh, water stuff here in a little bit we'll spawn in a bunch of people and uh i guess explode them or something and we'll see how red we can get it all right so here are the flask these are cool because you can actually uh, get the old uh, blood swapper here or the blood tank and you can uh, put these in it and then you can put it into people which we did last episode now there is an empty one here so i'm assuming if we grab this empty one, which we didn't do this, we'll stick it here. Here, Bob, you need to go forward a little bit. And then what we can do, let's transfer, let's say, hold on, let's go to pull the explodey liquid, gorse blood, and oil. And let's go ahead and do the blood. Maybe we'll create something secret here. And then, oh, that doesn't look good at all. Uh, he probably isn't going to want this in him. So yeah, we can... Uh, also put this here and we can push the actually if we go to idle oh it drained it all into the one. Oh, hold on this does work all right so i kind of screwed that up so let's go ahead and pull these again so yeah you can drain it right into one here so let's pull all that liquid out that is gross looking i wonder if this does anything special like i want to see some more modded flask what kind of flask do you guys want to see Okay, let's cut those lines. And what we're going to do here, let's go to idle. So that fills this one up. Okay, and then if we cut this, boom. So yeah, we've got the new whatever this liquid is right here. Plus we have uh, the stuff that we can put in the person. So let's go ahead and go. And let's push. Uh, what does this do to you? Oh. 
Uh oh. Oh. Uh okay. Uh by the way, these things can't be destroyed either. So it doesn't work like the syringe, uh, where you can just pretty much blow them up. Uh wait. I thought it said these were indestructible. Uh that clearly blew up, did it not? So hold on, let me read that again. So oh, not all of these are indestructible. It just says the empty flask, it was acting like it's indestructible, but the other ones can be destroyed. Huh. So we could create some combinations in a half, can't we? What if we just filled up a room with these? We're going to have to do that here in a second. So let's move on to the next item. That kind of created a result I wasn't expecting. Uh, right here is the blaster rifle. So I'm assuming this is close to the blaster, except for it's just repeated. Uh, so it says highly accurate blast rifle that launches high speed bolts. Well, well, let's test it out on Bob real quick and see what happens. Let's get these high speed bolts. Let's go. Uh, oh, oh, oh no, we caught him on fire. Oh, he's fine. Wow. You can actually take one of those. All right. So it's not automatic. So I have to spam that in order to get it to do that. But wait, something just exploded over there. Oh. I think that liquid just exploded. All right, let's go slow-mo. Let's uh, shoot him a couple more times here. Let's go. There we go. Oh, he landed on the uh, the flask. Okay, and uh, 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 there we go. That's pretty cool. Uh, I feel like this is kind of similar to the other blaster, but I guess the power is a lot different. We're going to need to do an ouchy no-no test. So let's go ahead and grab the blaster, and then let's go from about this square here and go... Okay, that was the blaster. I mean, it's still pretty devastating. Okay, so he fell down. He also caught on fire, too. And then we got this one. So I'm assuming this one's just going to fling him. So let's go. You know, it seems pretty similar in damage, to be honest with you. Like, I'm not noticing a huge difference here. Huh. Okay. Well, that's a thing. So next up is the physics gun. So I want to read about this. Like, how does this actually work? So it's actually in the uh, little cogwheel area, and if you scroll down, you'll see it here. So it's a handheld device that is capable of lifting objects from a great distance. Kind of like the Gary's Mod physics gun. Uh, can we make somebody hold this? Kind of hope we can. Hold on, let's grab somebody first. I'm assuming we can grab people, right? Uh, oh. Dude, that's actually cool. Hold on. Eh, eh. There we go. Of course I abuse this immediately. So, oh. oh. Well, that was something. So, two things. Can we make somebody hold this thing? So, if we go boom. Okay, it is handheld, which is cool. Uh, so, we've got that going. Also, what can it lift? Can it lift cars? Oh, let's try a car here. So, let's go physics gun and... Oh, no. Grab the car. Uh, oh. Is it because the ragdoll's holding it? Or why can it not lift this? Oh, this car's stuck. Wait, what is it stuck on? Okay, let's delete this stuff real quick. The car was oddly stuck. Okay, so we got our car back. Okay, so this one moves. So let's go. Uh, uh okay. Well, I mean, it's kind of weird because we're attached to the ragdoll here, but yes, it can pick it up. It is struggling though, so the beam does have certain strength properties. It's not like it can lift up everything. Let's try it while we're holding it. Okay, Bob, you can get out of here. Okay, so let's go. Boom. All right. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. The beam's going everywhere. So, oh, no, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. The beam can get a little glitchy. So, that works. Can we supercharge the beam? Also, I guess we could supercharge the rifle. Uh, here, let's get the industrial generator out. Uh, let's get the conducting wire. Let's go. Does this make this stronger? Let's go. Okay. It's got the same beam look but let's see if maybe it lifts the car easier we'll get the car out and let's go huh? no it doesn't seem to really change it uh haunts try to fling it uh it's a cool little weapon I, I like it it doesn't seem to change with the generator but I, I can think of a couple ways to use that haunts freeze this real quick so does this have an effect on the uh the blaster rifle I'm kind of hoping it does. So let's go. Oh, hold on. Attach this real quick. There we go. Conducting wires attached. All right. Let's go ahead and lift this. And then we're totally going to just point it here and on. Let it drop. Uh, it feels heavy for some reason. That's weird. All right. Lift it up and. Oh. Uh, oh. 
Okay, so I think it is a little bit more powerful because it seemingly launched uh, the Bob a lot further. And where'd he go? Did he land in the water? He might have landed in the water. Hold on, let's go check. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, look, he landed by the grenade launcher. That's what we were going to test out next. Uh, let's get a Bob in. All right, so grenade launcher. So, wait, what the? Something weird is happening. So... This thing is swaying. I feel like I need to reset the map. It still feels like I'm holding a physics gun. I don't wonder if this is a bug or something. Weapons have never acted like this. I guess that explains why uh, why some of the weapons are really, really heavy now. Like, this should lift right up. Hold on, let me reset. You might have found a bug. Okay, so definitely something changed. Because, look, I can pick the weapons right up now, and they're not doing that weird swaying. So, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that grenade launcher real quick. So... Now, here's the question. Do the grenades instantly go off when they hit something, or do they kind of bounce and fall? So let's go. Oh. Oh. That was almost instant, wasn't it? Hold on. Let's slow-mo this real quick. So, yeah, you see the projectile come out, and it bounces for a second, and then it goes off. So you could totally just spam this. Oh. Oh. Oh, I could have a lot of fun with this thing. You know, we could test uh, turning the water red here with this. Hold on, stack some people. All right, everybody's having a fun old time here at the beach. Uh, let's grab the grenade launcher and hold on. There we go. They look terrified. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> okay. Now give it a second. Watch the uh, watch the water and oh. You know, the blood effect in the water isn't as, like, vibrant and colorful as I thought it would be. Like, I figured adding that many people would really, really make the water red, but it really doesn't do that. You got a bunch of floating body parts in here right now. It's cool. I don't wonder if there's, like, an option or something maybe to turn that up. Okay, so expanded gore was actually off. So we just expanded it. So is it going to work better now? Hold on. Let's try the same thing. Or right, we'll try something a little bit different. Let's grab the sea monster again. Uh, we kind of saw how the grenade launcher works, which it works great. Love it. All right, so let's get the monster back out. All right, so it's going to come in. It's hungry. Here it goes. Oh! Okay, that's really laggy. Come on, let's go another crush. Uh, okay, and then get the heck out of here. All right, let's see if it looks different now. Oh, there it goes. It looks a little more colorful, I would say. Yeah, the water's uh, definitely turning a bit more red with the expanded, especially this one. So it seems like the, uh, the blood has to be running. So maybe shooting something would work a little better. Let's go ahead and grab this and go. There we go. Now let's watch it. There it goes. Hooray! Yep, it turns really red. Okay, YouTube, please don't demonetize me for this. I'm just actually showing the features of the game. Wow. That works actually really well. <laughs> well, that's the thing. You know, now I'm asking myself, is the hybrid map the new map or is the blocks map the new map? You know, I started playing with so many mods, I, I couldn't really tell what was actually being added. Is it this map? Somebody could probably answer that because I, I might have done something wrong here when it comes to the map. All right, so real quick, looking at the forms, I did confirm it looks like the hybrid map was the new map. I just really haven't paid attention to the blocks map. But yeah, that's the thing. So anyways, we're going to do a little bit more testing here with the flask. So you have the gorse one. So if this explodes next to somebody, uh, come on. How do you break this? This thing is really, really, really strong. So I guess we have to shoot it. So I got an idea. We're totally gonna place this over his head here. So we'll do that. And let's hook it up to the slab. There it goes. So all we gotta do is shoot it and I'm hoping the liquid's gonna drop down on it. Uh, so here we go. Boom. What the, really? So these things have to explode. Huh. Okay, so that kind of puts me in a weird situation here. I mean, I guess we can dynamite it. Is this gonna work? Ouch. Oh, I just bounced and hit him in the face. That uh, concrete slab actually saved him there. Okay, so we know uh, the other ones can explode. So say the nitroglycerin flask. We're going to stack some of these up like that. There we go. So these are unstable. Uh. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, I can't get the uh, the gorse one to actually blow open. Uh, do the blood ones blow open? Okay, so we got a blood one here. 
Okay, so it pretty much just flings them. Yeah, they don't blow open. So they are somewhat indestructible. See, I was kind of getting some mixed feelings there when I was watching it earlier. Trying to figure out if these things were actually uh, destructible or not. So it's really only this one. So obviously we got to fill a building up with these and blow the whole thing up because it's going to be amazing. Okay, so we've got our realistic destructible skyscraper. Let's spawn this in. So what we're going to do, we're going to fill this thing full. I'm hoping it doesn't tip it over. Oh, why did his head just explode? Oh, that's that expanded gore. Yeah, looks like uh, some brains have fallen out of the, uh, the people. That's why I turned that off. I was wondering why that was off. That's exactly why. So it's fine. We're just going to do this. <gasps> oh, okay. You got to remember not to drop these from too far up. All right, let's fill each floor with a little bit and then we'll go overboard with it. Oh, this is not good. Uh, filling this up might be a mistake. Okay, let's put these right here. It's fine. Try not to drop them from a uh, big distance because I think it will go off. Uh, these things are highly unstable. I really do hope to see some modded flasks soon, though. No telling what they can stuff inside of these things. Okay, there we go. And all right, so each floor's got a couple in there. So this is where we go crazy. Let's go ahead and just keep spawning in. Let's fill up each floor. This is perfect. Uh, oh no. So question is, what would happen if something were to hit this, like a missile or something? Like, would the whole building just go boom? Uh, we're about to figure out. Okay, my game's starting to lag. Oh, I just dropped one. Oh, okay. Whew. Thought that was going to make it go off. All right, so let's grab a missile launcher here and let's do this. Okay, we're going to set it over here and let's just go boop. Okay, so it's going off. So let's go slow-mo. Oh, yes. Watch the building go. Oh! <laughs> That was so cool. Wow. Okay, and resume. That turned that building into rubble. I do like the whole fact that the flask is not fully destructible. So you see all the remaining flask here. That's cool looking. You know, I'm super happy with this update. If you guys have any suggestions for this update, comment down below. Uh, definitely go check this out. It is available now. Uh, but yeah, I think we pretty much covered what we can here. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys next time.